All right, so the other day, a couple of days ago at least, Caitlyn Bent posted a Twitter video of her going to this campus. And uh, now there's a video that Matt has been uploaded yesterday to YouTube. And I just want to discuss my thoughts about why why is she doing this why is she being this way and frankly i don't condone any of it from her we had to come to the ohio state highway patrol because we were being followed after what you're about to see happen at the Ohio University in Athens. You're going to be disgusted. You're going to see what Democrats do to Trump supporters when they come to their campus. They kept saying it was the most liberal campus. Let that keep in your mind as you watch this footage and think about the election come November. I just want to point out we were not wearing any Trump stuff. They just knew her opinions and reacted violently to speech. No, first of all... They did not react violently. They spoke. They protest their rights. It is their campus, not yours. Why are you here? That is the question. Why are you here to provoke like you always do? Seriously. question for you. Well, hold on, hold on. I'll ask no, you a no, question. No, it's a trivia. No, it's just for you. It's, no, I'll ask you a trivia, then you can ask me a trivia. I gotta do first. No, nope. mm -mm, that's not how this works. I'll answer your trivia if you answer my trivia. Name one bar on OU's campus. Just one. I don't know, because I don't drink. I don't, I don't go to bars. I'm not even from here. <laughs> I'm not a Republican. She's actually not. She's a, she's a libertarian. Um, probably like a conservative. Not a, not a Republican, but no, I don't drink. Wow. You just said that you are not a Republican conservative? Then why in the fucking hell did you tweet to Donald J. Trump about your lies? Seriously, look at it. Why do you tweet at him then? He's a Republican president. And if you're not a Republican conservative, then why do you need to provoke people? Give me one thing I've said or done that's racist. I just have a question out about racism. Well, that's who we're talking about. It has to do with the same thing. Well, I'm asking her. She accused me of being racist. I do want to know one thing I've said that's racist. I would like, I would like to hear her talk. Do you, you called me racist. What's one thing I've said that's racist? Do you, do, have you heard that? Do you let this always happens. go in any bathroom they want to? No. Why not? Because I think that's a dangerous precedent to let men in the women's restroom. I don't think that's appropriate. But what if that's not the gender you were assigned to at birth? That Well, unfortunately, a lot of college students don't know this, but you were born with the gender that you were born with. That's just how it is. So are you a scientist? Well, right. Like, come on. Yeah, I like, the te I like that teacher's response. She has the right idea to answer these dumbass questions to Caitlyn Bennett, who doesn't know any of that. Like, seriously. Anytime somebody who is transgender that needs to use a transgender bathroom made just for them, we don't question about their... the way they were born with. I mean, come on. There are many people out there who have... Gender dysphoria, okay? There are many people out there who have that. There is Would you say that race or, or gender is more well, important in terms of I, how you interact with people? I think both that no are equally important. So if I identify as a white person, should I get the same treatment as a white person? I think you should get the same treatment regardless of your race or your gender. Well, I thought 
always thought white privilege was a thing. Should he be given I white I, yeah, privilege? Yeah, if I identify as a white person, I do I then white, get white privilege? White privilege is a thing. I didn't say it wasn't. So, so I identify as white. Do I now have white privilege? No, you have privilege as a human. No matter what your gender and what your race, bottom line. Bottom line, no matter what your race or what your gender. I'm not saying white privilege doesn't exist, but you can't argue with me that you should get equal privileges as a human, no matter what your race or your gender is. Thank you. So I guess if you... Okay, she just walked away. I frankly don't know her teacher, but I love her. She gave the correct concise answers to Caitlin and her idiot friend and you know that's the bottom line at the end of the day you can't just say that everybody has to be the same male and female only no that's not how it works anymore and Caitlin should know better You'd have to keep walking and go along with your day, and that wouldn't oh, then you, that wouldn't make you happy. We'd have to go to class. Is that where you are? Yeah, you are. That was a bad decision coming here. I'm sorry. Why? I'm so sorry. Why? Why? Because, because we're we're a family. All of us this is an OU family, and we don't come here to start shit. Let me tell you. Oh, you're mobbing me. You, I came yes. from a very conservative, very conservative um, family in a very conservative town, and nobody, nobody in my town ever agrees or likes anything you ever say because all of your everything what? you say. Your whole town knows who I am, though. That's all I got out of that. Exactly. So you're here for. <laughs> he just told me his entire town knows who I am. They talk about me. How is wait wait how wait a minute. Wait a minute. How is I just stood here. Just want, if we just there's want to actually push an agenda. That's that's what you're here for. I'm just standing here. They're giving me attention. The reason why they are doing that is because you came in uninvited. You didn't notify the police department. You didn't notify the city you were going to be here. You just showed up uninvited. You didn't even notify the people who are running the uh, the Ohio State College. You, Caitlin, are at fault here. That's why you're standing here. You're standing here to provoke people, and that's what you're doing right now. You're provoking them by being here while they're in class, or trying to go to class. Just leave. Coming to a liberal school with liberal people. So shouldn't you be tolerant? Shouldn't it be welcoming right now? We are until you start shit. That's oh, okay. So liberals are tolerant until I come here with a different opinion than you guys. No, I, I'm okay. Um, I'm actually independent, so I go for both sides. It's okay to have an opinion. But All I'm doing is standing here. Not, and then when people try to argue like that. I'm not doing there, anything. She's I'm not doing anything. Yes, you are. You're provoking people. That's why you're here. That's why you're in Ohio State College. You are provoking people. That is your thing. Tapped your hand and you made a huge deal about it. I told her not to touch me. You guys were about okay, consent. Not, Liberals are all about consent. I asked you not to. I asked her not to touch me. Okay. It's not a bad thing. Little Nas X, take your ass back to Old Town Road. I am so sorry. I am so sorry. You guys don't belong here. I'm so sorry. Hey, it's very tell me to come back, go back to where I came from. No. Sounds kind of racist to me. Oh, all you students are racist. Old Town Road, baby. Old Town Road or Kent State, either one. They think I live at Kent State. They actually think I live on campus. Someone already bought me some. Yeah, I'm wearing one right now. Yeah, I'm wearing one right now. Yeah, don't worry about it. No, I'm good. Yeah, if I go to any parties, I'm good. I'm set. No accident. They'll be perfect. Hey, who all carries here? <laughs> so anyway, you agreed with that girl that called me racist. Do you have any evidence? Comments. Give me one. I think that you just don't understand. Give me a racist comment. Especially the fact that you come to uh, like on Kent State, you carry a gun. Like you said, racism. I do know that there was a situation. See, there you go again. You start shit 
and then you interrupt somebody when they're trying to give out their opinion about you, Caitlin. You keep interrupting them because of that. Why don't you stop interrupting them and let them finish? No wonder everyone hates you. You keep doing this shit. Give me a comment that I've said that's racist. Why would you call me racist? Why would you call me racist and have no evidence? Me as racist, as being an African American. Give me evidence. Me as racist. Give me evidence. Appreciate how you do that to me. Give me evidence. I like that. You're really rude. Give me evidence. I can give you evidence. I can go through your Twitter. I can go through your Instagram. Why would you just walk up to somebody, call them a name, insinuate their character, and then not have any evidence? I feel you feel like you can go ahead and carry guns, and I feel like that you are racist. Give me evidence. You just can't come on a liberal camp. You okay, you're black. Camp. See, Caitlin, you turned away from the woman who's finishing speaking because you want to talk to your stupid friend for like the next couple of seconds to get his opinion on. Like, come on, why can't you just let her finish and then you can politely pass the microphone to him? Instead of rudely turning away from her while she's finishing up what she has to say. How rude of you. You're an African American. Have I said anything racist? No. Well, no. Not to me. 24 <laughs> 7. You guys are best friends. That, he, He's not with me 24 no, 7. Not. He lives four hours away from me. Four hours away from each other. There you are again, assuming things that you don't have to halfway for. between the two of, like, where I live and where she lives. I just am having a hard time with your rhetoric and how you speak to people. Personally, I feel it's very divisive. And I feel like if I would like to point out you have a problem with how I talk to people. I've been polite to every single person here today. Polite? No, Caitlin, you were not polite to every single person. In fact, you just came to the camp campus unannounced. Again, you came to the campus unannounced. And you provoke people with stupid questions. Everyone knows who you are. You provoke people with stupid questions. You were online in 2018 after you graduated and you got backlash over a gun you brought. You probably shouldn't do that in the first place anyway. After you graduated from that school you, you went to, you shouldn't do that. Today, and there's a crowd for me talking about pooping my pants, telling me to leave, telling me I'm a bitch, calling me racist. Who's really being intolerant? I'll take this one. It's you, Caitlin. You are being intolerant. You've always been that person who is intolerant for years. Ever since I heard about you in 2018, you're bad news. And since then, you're still doing that. Why can't you grow up for a while? Okay, maybe I have not seen your behavior today right now. I haven't. And that would be unfair. You've only seen me on Twitter. Yes, and your behavior on there is frankly deplorable. She's not wrong. Your behavior, Caitlin, is deplorable. I want to point out that everybody's trying to drown out the microphone. There's no way I can hear you or read you or get you or you, you get my attention. Right stop! Stop! It's right there. I'm talking to her. Don't be rude. I will be rude. There's no way that I can pay attention to you if the whole crowd is drowning you out. I can't hear that as well as I can hear someone else talking to me. If you have a question, I'd love to answer you. Yes. Yep, I can read. We got a dollar. So I can open a slash. Go ahead and ask me your question. She's typing. 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 She's be this rude to her. This is why you have no compassion at all. No, oh, so just pause. You're a racist. Wow. I wasted all my time telling you you're racist. Very good. Very smart. Shame fest! Shame fest! Shame fest! 
quoting a TikTok at you because if they were really spending time on their studies, then they wouldn't have time for TikTok. So your argument against illegal immigrants, that's not because of where they come from? That's because what they that look like. they're most likely to be on welfare for their entire lives. White people, are most likely, white people are most likely to be on welfare. If you look at the percentage of people that are on welfare, it is white people. Okay. White people. This well, notion that black because... people and people of color are the only people that are on welfare is You're so wrong. wrong. Look it up online. There's You're a government database for all of this. Wait, 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 w